Good afternoon, everyone. I am Genevieve Amatalsa, and I am Cheryl T. Amogis. And we are the reporter for the lesson four. So we, are we will be tackling about the models of technology-enhanced instructional lessons. So the objective of this lesson is that, number one is to identify how a technology tool is integrated in the lesson. Number two is evaluated a sample lesson with the element of technology integration suggested how it can be enhanced. So, the conventional way or the normal or the traditional way of teaching in this century may outmode the longer uh, the preference of the present learners. So the teacher providing the information while taking the center stage may not hold student's attention for a longer time. So this still works, however, but with appropriate use of the right technology tool or the application, a lesson becomes engaging. So diba, in the 21st century, we are embracing the kind of innovation or the changes of the teaching learning experience inside the classroom. So for that, ang um, mga teaching method or methodology na gina use sa teacher, so nag kwan pa siya, nag change, so they are embracing para mas interactive, active, um, and, um, learning experience inside the classroom. So the roles of the learners play in this millennium are no longer limited to be to being a receiver of information. So they desire to be actively involved in the retrieval of information, repackaging them and using them to create something um, unconceivable before. So di ba, uh, long before sa atong koan kay mga uh, learners before is lahi sila. So traditional way is lang, mamino lang students, so wala sila kay Di pa man silang mag ka nang na, uh, na expose sa technology. So, limited lang ang ilang capacity nga maka-learn o makuhan. So, ang ilang lang is maminaw sa teacher. So, ang teacher ang, ang, teacher ang mag-discuss. So, like for the ball, hira ka rin na kita nga mga teacher, ay, like for mga, mga students is mas how or mas dagan pa nga ma-acquire na knowledge and um, skills instead sa teacher. So, the learning phase can also evolve, especially when you consider the varied rules that learner space so they can learn and perform the task in any physical or virtual location. There are also the element of flexibility, flexibility since learners can tackle inside the task at preferred times for a manner of doing them. So however, certain agreed rules have to be established to provide the right amount of guidance with curtailing their ingenuity. So the uh, aside from that, the physical um, location or the physical appearance I so the physical location of the classroom can also be improvised or improved. So through that, technology can help the uh, improve the physical uh, physical location or the physical classroom of the classroom. So by that, uh, and students can uh, acquire knowledge or acquire the skills through the instructional materials or through the um uh, sa uh, teachers inside the classroom sa mga gipangbotang. So diba, through tangible things or materials. <laughs> Our teacher, our young students, is mas maka-acquire or makagain sila knowledge and um, skills na ilahang gusto ma explore. So, di ba, more on exploration um, of imagination, especially in um, uh, elementar elementary years. So, so the, learning, the learning place has also evolved, especially when you consider the <coughs> rules that learners play. So, there is a rule that learners play. So, first is that. Learner can become a contributor. So when we say um, contributors, it, it makes um, the learners can give something or making something to happen. So the learners can give or supply or share an information. So first, the learners can upload material such as a video, an audio, post a message, submit an output in a drop box or add documents and ebooks and add a e picture or contribute to a digital board using the pop up. So, as I said, contributors is the um, learners they can they can give or supply something. They can upload the material such as video and and audio and so on. So second is the creator. So when we say creators, um, um learners can bring something new to original. So student can collect or a digital portfolio or commonly known as e-portfolio or create a virtual poster or an interactive resource. So a student can be, can be a creator. So for example, mag mga an, an student pwede na kayo sila ng video na magpuan, um, damuhin yung mga design. So ang third is um, the communicators. So when we say community, communicators, um, the, the, the children can exchange their information to one another or share it to their peers. So, Communicator is using a technology tools. Student can chat, read a post, or reply in a blog and contribute a comment to 
then that grid flows so they can communicate, they can chat to one another. And fourth is learners can become a collaborator. So when you say collaborators and mga learners can work jointly sa ilang mga projects, sa ilang mga inuon sa school. So capstone project or students can participate in posting ideas in a forum where there can be an output of collaboration, a synchronous discussion. So using wiki, maka-participate maka sila in a book activity or maka-accomplish ma nila nila task or a project. So that is the the learners roles in having a technology. So next is, um, there are big ideas on how to integrate technology tools or an application in teaching a lesson. So by, ano, yung, by, possible, by identifying the possible needs of the students, so draw a picture in it to guide them on how to um, use or properly the technology tools. So one common tool is e mobile devices. So if you want to say mobile devices, it is cell phone, it is a handle, um, it is a handle that guide along with the user. So if it is a tool, if, if this tool is available, the bottom picture it yeah, pwede na siya magdala ng cellphone o pwede siya maka-create uh, ng screencast, maka-create ng PPT or maka-create ng presentation sa iyong mga learners. So, the tool must be uh, fundamentally uh, fundamentally component sa class as long as they are operated and strategically integrated. So, once you know a digital tool or an application, the next step is think how you can use it for your class or you can use that tool in teaching your lesson. So, first is the blog. So, we want to say that on that is a um, web page where we can create, where we can post our ideas in a page. So, one interesting tool is to explore is the blog. So, it is a web page that you need to create and where you can write your posts and ideas. So, they are updated on a regular basis which can inspire or educate those who read or boost those who read it. So, Divide is a web page where when you can afford it, ang mga student makapost ng ilang mga ideas, ng ilang mga um, thoughts, and i-share share nila sa ilang mga classmates. So, in blogging, there is uh, there are many kinds of blogging types for the event and the purpose for which it was created. First is the blogging ideas. So, in blogging ideas, there is a first reflect on reading, Second picture from C, Stat, and D is demo. So first is the reflect on reading. So, so the reflect on reading, a student can create a reflection based on book na ilan na basa. So they can um, create and share it for and post it in the web page. Second is the picture from. So based on the picture, if the teacher mag post na picture na to, and also a student pangatag pangatag siya na and reflection also sa the post na picture sa web page. Third is the statistics. So, given limited time, student calls the interpretation of statistical data provided in class. So, I'm going to write down Third is dream on. So, and dream on sa social studies, um, and student is makapost sila ng ilang dream destination, ilang nakatuan, o ilang share and ilang na experience, ilang ang culture na ilang nakatuan. So, that is what sa dream on sa then, magkasa sila ng social study, they can post it sa blog. So, next is the web conference. So, ito ang sila web conference can be support of interactive learning or student-centered teaching and learning a team for the entire virtual environment. So, kaya mo na sa kita ng web conference ideas yung, for example, yung um, Google Meet. So, sa so, 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 web conference ideas, um, there is also parts. So first is the expert guest practitioner. We share and compare. See, is meditated tutorial. So, and there is the expert guest practitioner. Is diba? For example, ito ng gago, gumit kita sa unang last year. Diba? Ito, teacher kayo nag-invite siya ng mga professional radio professor Jeremy. I-invite niya para masa kita ng mga student. Ha? Makasa kita may form, makakilin sa kita ng mga So next is share and compare. So, using ang web conference data, from a science investigation, can share to a group of home students or sa other school. So, last but not least, is the repeated tutorial. It's how a conference can um, learn the set, set time for further tutorials. So, pwede ang mga students ka to maka, um, maka, maka, makita sila ka to, maka, ma-engage sila with um, tutorials. So, that is for a while. Okay, so I'll be continuing.
Secretary for Government Sheryl. So, let's proceed to the Padlet. So, I guess everyone will be fine. Padlet is another tool that can be accessed online and suited for sharing information and content and can allow engagement of the students. Diba? So, although it can be used for business, through creativity, uh, it can be appropriate for educational purposes. Diba? We, have, we are assigned to make, it, uh, make an account for the public. So, one important step to select, to select a tool is to study and its function. So, identify which one will work for your class while having in mind the main purpose why you are teaching. As a result, your students become more engaged than ever before. So, I uh, and by that, explore the tool and study its features when you get the chance to be online. So, try to be familiar with what you can do with it. And then, when you have done this, uh, you can proceed to the uh, lesson that you can integrate the tool. So, diba, it is really important for us, teacher, or we, we as a teacher educator, to uh, to know, to look for the latest technology that can uh, that can improve the learning inside the classroom. So, to accomplish it, we as a future teacher or the instructor now today should be aware of the characteristics to decide what what software or hardware should be used in the teaching learning uh, process inside the classroom. So, para po makakwanta, maka, mas, mas, maka-engage, mas more on interactive or most more engaging magot siya. Especially if we integrate technology during the class, especially sa mga students or mga smaller years, yan, mga primary anak. So, di ba, mas makakatch lag attention, mas makaptivate nila, mas makaptivate na ako ang buwan, attention, o so, ang um, ilang ang um, attention, di ba? So, mas more, mas more interactive siya, like, anong pamino sila. So, muna siya, more maong dapat, kasi kita po, gamit na sa technology, we also have to know sa kanang right way or uh, right way to use the technology. So, so much for that. In designing a lesson, always remember that it's not that it is not about the technology. So, uh, select that it is not about the technology. Selecting the tool upon which the lesson revolves. So rather, it has to be objective of the lesson and the knowledge and skills to be taught that will guide you in selecting the appropriate tool in order to achieve those. So it doesn't guarantee the effectiveness if you use technology. So even if you are creative, you are uh, creative or attractive, you can give a presentation or lesson as long as you really need to get or you can target a specific goal or a specific learning object in the class, you can use it. You can use it. Anak ko, ang dapat yun, ang imuhang one important thing that you must gonna accomplish yun is matarget din mo ang learning objectives mo, diba? Kasi may purpose na atong pagkudyo, so diba? We have to know or to achieve the learning objectives. So, so here are the steps in, or a step that may be a good way. So first is identify the learning objective based on a topic or content. So you have to determine if the objectives are observable or can be manifested by the learner. So kung dali lang, i-wanin mo siya, i-determine mo, i-identify niyo mo if ang lesson na mo ang itagal is makaya lang na ma-observe or visible lang ba nga para ma-achieve the learners. And then consider the topic or subject matter that needs to be covered in the lesson. Step two is to determine the knowledge and the skills. So for that, you have to analyze the kaya or the appropriate skills na makaya sa students, and then determine how students will be able to learn the knowledge and skills. So you also have to analyze or the method you are going to use to be able so that the children children will be able to acquire or learn the knowledge and skills and then look for resources that can be useful in achieving the objectives. Diba? So, mangitag pag mga kanang ways on how to find the ECS way or resources na madalira ma-acquire sa student or ma-achieve ang limuhang learning objectives. And then, step three is to select a tool or an instructional aid to you. So, you have to be, you have to familiarize the tool you have selected and then learn to use it. So, like what I have said earlier, you have to know or practice the features or how you are going to use the technology that you are integrating inside the classroom and then consider the content that needs to be placed in the tool or information that you use the of the 
So, di ba, um, dapat mo, as we use the banang pool or anything na itong ginagamit sa technology, dapat move it in or move to sa siya sa ito ang ginatagalan. So, so di ba, di ba, mit lang ka ganang technology na wala yung pulos na di siya makakabang para mag-wire on like sa pool para mag-target ang objective. And then, the last step is that determine the method of assessment. So, use the criteria to evaluate the technology pool or instructional aid, but always considering the content as the most important criteria. So, ang content nyo lang, pinaka-importante. And last is that consider the quality of information, the technological skill given by the student, or how you can present the technology tool that will suit your objectives. So, more of it siya pinaka-importante. As long as ma, dapat ma-deliver or ma-achieve yung ang learning objectives in making a lesson. So, more siya ang pinaka-importante. And next is that, a sample plan making use of a mobile device. So, I guess, kami ng mga pala ng ABRU, a mobile device in terms of teaching sa ato sa mga pag-amit na data. So, sample lang din siya ha, pero kabalan pa. So, here are the, so, for example, so, performance outcome. So, learners must be able to, so, di ba, ang teacher, if they are teaching, they have, they have their own objectives. So, like for example, identify the plot of a given fiction, write a summary of one section of the plot, so from any of the beginning, middle, or end, and then create a script when in app one section of the plot, and then use a mobile device to document the section of the plot, and which has to be uploaded for the class to review. So, my young main point three in make, making a lesson plan or making a lesson that uses mobile device. So, the right? And then, so you have. You have here the uh, prepare things that needed, so you have to prepare things that needed in setting up the classroom. So like for example, ako lang siya, so a literary material, from a book, mobile device with a camera, internet access, mobile devices have to be charged, teacher needs to ensure that the platform or a site or a block has been set up where learners can up to their own materials. So diba, uh, it is very really important for the teacher that dapat gulungin mong buwan, mag-set up ang iyong classroom para na naay ka ng food ang flow sa discussion. Para po, dalira po mga kuwan, dalira mga ang materials po, especially po, mga po, dalira para sa mga students. So, dapat i-prepare to be up. And then next is call and push the instructional flow. So, first is after finishing a particular fiction literature, fiction literature, such as short story or a particular text, discuss with the learners the elements of that, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So, the plot is a sequence of events that shape a uh, broader narrative. So, the series of causes and effects which shape the story as a whole. So, one is and then divide the plot into smaller groups, assigning each the, each team to work on the plot of the story, aiming at the beginning, middle, or end. So, divide, divide, handing on time, so the plot, even the beginning, middle, and end. So, we have, we do need to para mo one more. Makakasya ka ka ng collaborative or cooperative learning. So, pwede niyo siya i-group ang ibang mga students and then they will act out a scene and then make use of their mobile device to record their final thing. So, kapila naman taan yung mag-ibugit ng mga video mga video presentation, especially sa mga report report. So, muna siya ka ng sample lang niya sa ka na making last one na maka-integrate tao. Para po guys.